Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. So it smells fantastic in here because there's a turkey in the oven, but you know, turkeys take a really long time to cook, so figured I would film a video. Why not, right? Okay, so what I have been watching slash streaming on TV. Um, wow, it just started raining like crazy outside and it sounds like bullets on the roof. Okay, sorry, distracted. <laughs> um, yeah, what I've been watching on TV. So let's backtrack. Um, there was a movie on Netflix called Prospect and it stars the guy that plays the Mandalorian on The Mandalorian and we watched about half of it and I had to stop it for something and uh, when I came back I said to my husband what do you think of this movie he said eh it's alright I said yeah I said do you want to watch the rest of it he said no nah. so we got about halfway through it and I don't know it just something about it um, like the the characters were in danger and stuff and you didn't even care because there was no I don't know it, it just wasn't very good I wouldn't recommend it so I didn't even finish it so then um, I watched season 7 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think that was the last thing that I talked about in my last video. I think I was part way into it at that point and I'm not going to give any spoilers obviously and I don't want to ruin it for anybody but I like the way they ended it and um, I'm going to miss that show. I really like that show. My favorite character is Phil um, Coulson. Phil Coulson. And um, yeah I, I like the way they ended it but oh man that show probably my favorite Marvel show of all time. I don't know. Something about it. So I'm going to miss that. And then we watched the first episode of the last and final season of The 100. And <laughs> when the episode was over, my husband was like, I'm so pissed. I'm like, what? What's the matter? He said, they had a, a million opportunities to kill that guy and, and they didn't take it. Now, I'm, I'm, it's only the first episode of the season, so I'm not really giving much away. But if you're familiar with the storyline, you might know who I'm talking about. But I'm not going to tell you just in case. That way I didn't really give a spoiler. But um, he doesn't like Clark, the, the lead character in that show. And he thinks she's annoying and unsympathetic and he thinks she's a terrible actress. Um, but I don't think she's a bad actress. I think you can only do what you're given for a part. And the script writing on that show is, uh, I don't know. Um... The, the people on that show that I really like are Bellamy and, oh, what's his name? I was having a senior moment and I, I couldn't think of the character's name. Um, John Murphy. John, the John Murphy character, I think, is really well done. Um, the guy that plays him, his name is Richard something. Um, I think he's a really good actor. And, um, but yeah, I like Bellamy too. And what's weird is in real life, the actors that play Clark and Bellamy are a couple and, hmm, I don't know. I don't, I personally don't think they have any on-screen chemistry, but whatever. Um, so I don't know now if I'm going to watch the rest of that season by myself because my husband and I always watch things together. Um, so, yeah, but it's the final season, so I kind of wanted to see how they were going to end it. Last season, a lot of major characters were written out, and um, I was kind of surprised by some of the choices that they made. And again, I don't want to say, just in case you're not up to speed on that show, but, um, yeah, I, I like anything science fiction, action, like that. Those are my favorite kind of shows. 
And um, of course, I'm watching The Mandalorian every Friday night continuously. The best show on television. And um, that show just keeps getting better and better. But the um, the scene with him with the cookies, oh my God. Macarons are the sweetest cookie that you can buy. They're delicious, but they're like such a high sugar content that it's almost like too sweet. But after I saw that, it made me want to go out and try to find some. And it's a good thing that I didn't because everybody else had the same idea. And macarons were sold out. They're not made by a lot of different companies, but the ones that do make them and distribute them to stores, because um, you can get them at like bakeries, high-end bakeries and stuff, but if you just want to get them at a store, you don't have a lot of choices. And I just looked online just out of curiosity. And yeah, all the places like that sell them, like Trader Joe's and Target and stuff, um, they were all sold out. So it wouldn't have even been an option. So it's a good thing I didn't have my heart set on some macarons after that. Okay, then I watched... Um, a movie on a streaming service that I don't pay for. There's tons of streaming services out there, guys, that are free. And um, you might have to watch a few ads, but it's no big deal. Um, I finally saw San Andreas. That stars The Rock. And if you don't like The Rock, then I don't know if we can be friends. <laughs> No, but seriously, um, that was a good movie. I think it was well written. I think it was well acted. I think that um, if you like action movies, disaster movies, I thought that was really good. And um, no boring parts at all. Never a dull moment. And it, they did really good character development on that. The storyline was really good. Um, predictable a little bit in parts, but that's okay because I think if they had done something else, people would have been mad. Um, but yeah, it, it was really good. So if you have a chance to see that, because all you have to do is look up, um, do a Google search, San Andreas, and then it'll tell you what streaming services it's on. But that was definitely good. And then a couple nights after that, um, sorry, I got distracted here. Uh, a couple nights after that, I watched another movie on another streaming service that's free called After Earth. And that one starred Will Smith and his son, Jaden. And um, that movie is like seven years old, but for some reason I had never seen it. I don't, I don't know why, because that's right up my alley. It was a science fiction slash action adventure movie. And um, I really enjoyed that, too. I thought it was well-written, well-acted, um, really good special effects. And um, basically, it was... Uh, the Earth has been abandoned many years ago because the planet is not survivable by humans anymore. And so Will Smith and his son and a bunch of other people are on a spaceship and they're flying from point A to point B, and the ship crashes on Earth. And um, so they have to survive all the natural predators and things that are still here that have evolved and gotten even better at killing. <laughs> and um, so they have to survive the crash and, and try to... Um, release a beacon so that somebody can come rescue them. But it, it was really good. I definitely would recommend that one as well. Now in the future, coming up, the second half of the final season of Supernatural is supposed to be released, I think tomorrow. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I read that it was going to be released tomorrow, so I want to watch that. And then of course I need to watch the latest episode of The Mandalorian that will be released tomorrow. But then after that, I found out about this show on the Fox Now streaming service or app. Um, it's called Next, and it's about 
um, the world being taken over and controlled by AIs, maybe, unless the humans can stop them. But um, there's this tech company that is developing AIs and something happens and things get out of control and I don't know. I, I don't know anything more about it because I haven't seen it yet, but it's on regular TV now on Fox, but they're also streaming it. You know, once the episodes have been shown on regular TV, they're streaming it on Fox now. So I just uh, downloaded the app to um, both my TVs and um, I want to start watching that ASAP because I watched the trailer and I got chills up my spine when I watched the trailer. So I think it's going to be good and very relevant to the world that we live in. So, yeah. Um, what do you guys watch? Because I'm really into sci-fi, action adventure. Um, that's about it. That's That's pretty much all I watch when I watch TV. Every once in a while, though... I'll watch something unique that's not in those categories. Like, when the hell are they going to release the next season? And I think it might even be the last season of Peaky Blinders. Because that's like nothing like what I just described and talked about. That is a historical drama. Um, and I think... Part of the reason why I like that so much is the person who plays the lead role in that show. Not only is he a really good actor, but one of the best looking guys on the planet. I kid you not. Um, if you've seen that show, you know what I'm talking about. Wow. Thomas Shelby. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the character's name. Um, yeah, when when the heck are they going to release the next season of that? I feel like I've been waiting forever for that. Those of you that live in the UK, you probably know the answer to that. Because um, I watch it on Netflix because it's on some, um, you know, British channel. So, well, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We're going to keep it fairly simple today. We're just, here's what... Here's what's on the menu. Turkey, stuffing, gravy, mashed potatoes, um, cranberry sauce, and oddly enough, salad. I don't, that wasn't my decision. Salad, I eat salad every single day of my life, so I don't really want it on Thanksgiving. But my husband came home from work yesterday with two big bags of salad and he said I want to have salad too and I was like okay because <laughs> I'm thinking to myself I don't really don't really want salad I eat that every day um, but you know you, you want to have things that that both people want compromise and all that so uh, that is it for today you guys I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.